Many teachers I spoke to expressed concerns about the way science is taught in our schools. David Perks was one of them. The way um, we, we address science in the classroom these days, and in, in, the, in the modern sense of it, sees uh, the, the uh, point of science as addressing the individual as a consumer of science rather than as a producer, a future scientist. Uh, and that uh, sort of addresses the idea of making it accessible and relevant to young people. But, but to my way of thinking, that completely misses the point about what's distinct about science. And science um, is, is one of the last vestiges of the curriculum where you learn a formal academic subject uh, which gives you the capacity to then go beyond uh, your knowledge uh, and address issues uh, that you wouldn't otherwise have a grounding in. Although the curriculum plays an integral part in the way we teach science, it's not necessarily the most important part, as Mick Waters explained. The curriculum can only go so far. We know teachers all across the country who have uh, grabbed at the curriculum made it work for them. Not seen it as an anchor, but seen it as a springboard where there's no telling what they could do given the opportunity. Problems occur when people think the curriculum has to fill every moment of every lesson, when the syllabus has to take over. And uh, the challenge is to say, come on, we believe in ourselves as science teachers. We can teach children science. And I know it's hard because over the years we've been more and more accountable, schools have accountability thrust upon them, departments have to deliver results to contribute to the school's results, and we start to look at our children as currency in terms of GCSEs or A-levels, rather than little learners, little scientists, little uh, investigators of the future. Actually, where we teach real science to children in a scientific way, with enthusiasm and rigour, we'll get the results.